One of the coolest things about this truck is you don't actually need to be inside to drive it. You can operate it remotely. Michelle and I each need to remotely operate the vehicle to get from there to that flag. And whoever gets closest wins. So what you'll be doing is actually calling in directions to our mission control center back in Denver. They will then send that location to the truck you see out there. The truck will try to make its way to it and you only get two shots to get all the way to the flag. This challenge mimics how NASA and Lunar Outpost will remotely operate this truck on the moon from Earth. Instructions will go from mission control, travel all the way to the moon, and then with a couple seconds delay, tell the truck where to go and what to do. Take me to the moon! Okay, mission control, this is Raven. Raven. Please move the truck 42 meters forward and six meters to the left. Mission director, test size go. Bye! Whoa. Wait, what? Leo, did you ask it to serpentine the way there? What the heck? I asked it to avoid obstacles. Here's the thing about these instructions. You tell it the point that you want it to go to but the truck needs to figure out how to best get to that spot. It can tell where things like rocks and craters are and then needs to do its best to avoid them. That's incredibly useful when it's all alone on the moon, but it does make where it goes a little bit unpredictable. This reminds me of the chess game in Harry Potter where if they make the wrong move, they like die or whatever. Oh no. Oh no, she has her hand on her forehead. After carefully making both of my moves, I began to worry that I'd miscalculated the distance. I think that might be my move. Let's go measure. I would like you to please go 36 meters forward and three meters to the left. Enjoy the ride. Here I go. I really hope I'm not crashing Cleo into the park. <laughs> oh, oh my God, no. Well, now I have to avoid this hill. I would like to go 40 meters forward, four meters to the left. Yes, it's so close! You did it! Man, driving this way was hard and slow, but similar to the real choices that space agencies make about how to move rovers on the moon or Mars. This is faster than they operate the Mars Perseverance rover, what you guys just did. Wow. So it's little bit by little bit like by little bit. That's why they've designed this truck, to have some level of autonomy. So instead of giving it waypoints 10 meters to five meters, which is a very difficult way to operate, you say, hey, I want you to accomplish this mission. Scout out this region of the moon, find where the habitat should go. Scout mm -hmm. out this area of the moon, find where the highest concentration of water ice. This is the big goal of autonomous space truck robots. 